Hi, Dave Wilson again. Now, something a little bit different this time. I'm going to do three videos in one for you. Because what I want to show you are these three little polishing heads. Uh, little mops for your pendant drill. Now we've got a very rough one. We've got one for medium polishing and we've got one for final polishing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you through step by step taking a rough piece of metal through to final finish and I'll show you how to use all three polishing mops. So three videos in one and I'll show you how to polish. So as always follow me. Okay so welcome to my workshop. So what I've got here for you is a piece of sterling silver widdly burr and this has been heat treated I was soldering bits to it and that and so you can see it's all black and oxidized. Now I know you'd normally put this in the pittle, I'm not going to do, I'm going to polish it using the polishing mops to show you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this into four quarters and I'm going to leave a quarter like that oxidized then I'm going to buff all the rest then I'm going to mask off half of it use the Tripoli and then mask off the last little bit and then rouge it so when I've finished and I take the tape off you'll be able to see the progression all the way along it from rough to final mirror finish so let's get started so here we go I've taped up the end so we'll keep that oxidized so we can see the comparison so the first thing I need to do is remove all this oxide so I'm going to use this brown buffing ball here now this is it's a bit like a scouring pad like you might use in your kitchen it's a kind of nylon meshy type substance it's quite hard and this has been impregnated with abrasive so it acts like sandpaper a bit like a buffing stick uh, there's different grades available so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to start with to remove all the oxide now I'm using my quick change hand piece here uh, the diameter of this fits perfectly into my quick change hand piece this is a Faro quick change hand piece and I've got this connected to my Fordham SR flexi shaft don't forget your goggles of course very important to wear eye protection now I have it rotating this way so I'm going to start at the top there and work my way down and I'm just going to remove the oxide now you don't want to rotate this too fast otherwise it will disintegrate so just slow speed and there you can see now I've removed all the oxide and I can now see the surface of the silver so I can see there's a few little marks and pits so I'm now going to carry on and I'm now going to go at 90 degrees and I'm just going to keep filing this with the buff ball until I get rid of all those little marks and surface scratches. So there we have it. Um, all the surface is now smooth. There's no pits, there's no scratches, there's no dents. And in fact, if you want a, a satin finish, then that's fine. There you go, leave it there. That's all you need to do. So this is great for removing the oxides and it leaves you a nice satin finish. So if you want to keep a satin finish, there you go, job done. Of course, I'm going to take it further. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to mask off another little bit of it to keep that. So we have a comparison later. And then I'm going to go on to the next stage with the rest of it. So we've got the satin finish with the buffing ball so next up I want to start the actual polishing process so this is a little three layered felt wheel here and this is really great for your first stage polish I'm going to use it with some brown Tripoli and that's going to help to get off all these tiny tiny little surface scratches and just start to get the beginnings of a mirror polish so once again this is going to go into my flexi shaft and the first thing I need to do is load it up because this is a brand new felt so the first thing I need to do is just run it very slowly and just build up some polish on it and it's quite easy to see you can see where the polish is there 
you might get a few bits of fluff the first time you do this so again eye protection so there we go I've got a nice bit of polish on it now again I've masked some off so we can see the difference and I'm gonna go all along the rest of this now with the uh, Tripoli so we're just going on the length instantly you can see the difference now it's quite important to keep rotating the handle 90 degrees so once you've polished it one way just turn it round and polish it at 90 degrees that way if there are any scratches you're attacking them from both sides so join me in a second so there we go just a couple of minutes um, if your brush starts to look dry just uh, add a little bit more triple to it and you can see now we're starting to get the beginnings of a mirror polish now at this stage it's very important to look and see if there's any scratches or indentations that you've missed don't try to polish them out all you will do is you will have clean scratches okay so if there are any scratches then you need to go back to the slightly abrasive buffing ball take the scratches out and then go again with the Tripoli so there's no marks so I'm happy with that so I'm now going to mask a little bit off now to keep that and the end bit I'm going to finish off with the rouge mop so here we go I've taped off a little bit more and I'm just going to put the rouge just on this end so we'll see the difference going along it so for the final stage mirror polish this is a wool mop uh, you may hear the big ones referred to as swans down mops but you need a, a soft mop and this is very light very soft and this is used with rouge so I've got a little block of rouge here and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this not too much and I'm going to just buff the end there and you want to keep going different directions until you get a mirror shine so once again I'm just going to pop this into my flexi shaft just move that away and again this is a new mop so I need to load it up so just run it get rid of the fluff and just putting some rouge in it and this is really easy to do because you can see the mop changing colour and going red so there we go you can see the, the rouge polish on it now so a little bit faster now on this and very light touch so imagine you're polishing a mirror in your bathroom or something so nice and light just really really just buffing up that surface and if you see little black streaks uh, that's just the polish that's because you've got a little bit too much polish on again change direction move it around and something you'll notice here is I'm keen to make sure that my mop does not touch the bench pin because there might be filings or bits of contaminants on there which I don't want because that'll scratch my silver Oh, there we go it really is just a couple of seconds and I'm just speeding up now just the last little just touching up and there we go I think I'm happy with that and then all you would need to do so oh, sorry got the camera there just uh, get your salvic cloth and just wipe off any grease there and then take a look at it and hopefully now you should have if I put my finger on it you can see I've got a mirror polish so let's take off this tape now and we should be able to see the four stages so join me in a second so once again we've got the original oxidized part 
the sanded and pre-polished part using the red buffing ball. We've got the pre-polish using the triple E and the round felt wheel. And then we have the final polish using the rouge and the little wool mop. So hopefully you can see by using these three by using these three mops you can take any piece of metal from black, dirty and tarnished right through from satin to pre-polish to final mirror polish. Now what I'll do now is I'll take this inside and I'll photograph this with a macro lens and let you have a real good close look at it so you can see this close up. This could be a bandle, uh, a large pendant, something like that and literally you can take it from black to mirror finish in a matter of minutes just by using three little buffing balls, a bit of Tripoli and a bit of rouge. I've been Dave Wilson, thanks for watching.